Hey, hi, this is Rick. I want to announce a new variation of the product. The uh, product is a SlabMax UV board that I made for the, uh, for the CGC cases, right? They sit here in this little indented gap between the top and bottom part of this, this uh, case and protect the book from UV light. It's five nines protection, um, even at intense UV light. So it's, it's good protection and it looks, to my opinion, looks good too. Uh, asked several times by people if I could make CBCS ones. I thought I don't have any CBS cases. I've since acquired some and they look like like this, right? They're, they are a uh, little bit larger. Uh, the, the surface area is quite a bit bigger even though the case itself is a similar size that this front area is bigger because it there's no little lip right where my finger is here uh, on the other one. So you have to make the case go up the hole. It fits to fit in this whole space here like that. And I'll show you that what I've done is I've, I've measured and cut the corner here in this slab. Actually, it exactly, it exactly fits within, uh, I think, 0.05 millimeters, the corner of these CBCS cases. They look pretty good. And I'll show you a little video here on that. But it does not fit the older ones quite as well because they don't have that rounded corner. So if you have an older, I don't know when older started for CBCS, but if you have a non-rounded corner, it'll leave a little a little gap. And I'll show you a video of that here as well. You can see that. And here are some photos of, well, and again, in these videos, I apologize, for not, I left the film on so you could see the contrast. It's hard to see where they are in camera without, if there's, uh, not a film on it. So uh, I cut these especially with the film so you could see. <clears throat> um, you'll obviously remove that for insulation and you use these small, I give you these little square uh, clear adhesive, they're removable so you can stick it and leave a tiniest air gap to prevent uh, Newton rings. And they look good. Here's a photo of uh, one book with them in place. This is the, um, this first one is the newer type case, the older book counterintuitively as the newer uh, CBCS case. And then here's with and then without the um, slab max UV. So you can see the difference. And here's one of the older ones, uh, both with and without the slab max UV. Those are available now. It's exceptionally difficult for me to get this plastic. So I had to really struggle with how many I wanted to make of each brand. I can make others as well or custom ones if you like. Mm -hmm. I can even if you like I can actually uh, I can etch or cut your logo engrave your logo into these sort of off side of the book as well you know small corner if you have a store I can put that in there for you um, and this is what they this is how many I have for now this is however many this is I think it's like 30. That's all I'm gonna get for the time being I suspect I'm uh, short on plastic but um, Anyway, I, I uh, hope you like that product and uh, take care of yourself. Bye. Also, I looked up the grader's notes on the Catwoman book because it looked really good to me. And I was like, hmm, what's wrong with this? And I saw a fingerprint on the back of the book. It's an 8.0. The only the grader's notes just say finger smudge on cover. And I can't find any on the front. Usually if there's one on the front, there's some on the back too, like where they sort of pinch your hands together. But uh, this is all I saw in the book. There's a fingerprint on it. So... I think later I'm gonna crack this thing open and I'm gonna clean that fingerprint off of it and I'm gonna resubmit, see what we get. So remember this uh, this exact book from this condition and we'll, from this video and we'll, we'll clean it off and maybe we can get higher than an 8.0. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, take care, bye.